Good morning, good morning, people. Fly Rose, I got checking in one time for the one. Just gonna make a little video. Um, dropping off like three trucks today, and um, hopefully I can get it done within like three hours. To be honest with you, just getting to my first unit, and this is going probably like six miles maybe. Then I got two more that's going about thirty miles a piece. So I got about a seventy-day mile trip. You know what I'm saying? Cause dropping off. Just warming the first truck up. I was going to JB Hunt. Got uh, an air pressure rise on it. Oh yeah, don't forget to hit that like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Gotta do my little walk around. Looks like they got some all-terrain type tires on this jugger. All-terrain shit. Yeah, say good year. Good year MSDs. Muscle down is going right here. So, um, after I drop this one off, I will get back to y'all and, you know, let me come back and get the second truck. Stay tuned. Mm. Almost at JB Hunt now, about to drop off the first unit of the day. One down, two more to go. About $150. Try and get it done in three hours, you know what I'm saying? It's about 9.45 in the morning right now. And um, I started about 9.30, you can see. At least I was down at the yard doing my inspection. Warming the truck up. About to pull up to JB Fizzant. Right in his house. You Fizzant. My bad, yo, that was a hard bump. like the content please give it a thumbs up please give it a thumbs up you know you know some of y'all want to get in the dump truck or the trucking business work for yourself owner operator i'm just out here trying to give people another option you know another option made it to the drop jb hunt Because I'm trying to save fuel. You know what I mean? I don't want the window back. Unless it's boiling, making hot. But when I get, when I came in this truck, when I got in the truck, it was blown. At least the fan was. I felt some air. So, you know. Yeah, so I'll let you know how this pan out, man. It pushed me back. It set me back a little bit. I see how I go. I'm gonna call my dispatcher and see if they're gonna pay me anything extra for this. Um, you know, get the delivery down to the. Uh, but I know they're gonna say, oh, they're gonna say it was my fault. I should have checked to see if the AC was working. That's what they're gonna say. I guarantee that bullshit. I promise you. Like, I'm supposed to know how much free on this motherfucker got in. I mean, like dude said, that JB Hunt is a brand new truck. I mean, shit, the AC should be working. I mean, it's blown, but that shit ain't blown cold, like I thought. 
Alright y'all, so I'm back here at the hub picking up my second unit. It's 11 o'clock, I'm a little bit behind schedule. I don't know where I thought I was going to be at. Uh, as far as today is concerned. All that mess. Woo! Son of a bitch. He's so good, right? He says, I'm probably to be jumped. And sure enough. So, I just wonder what. Oh, it's my second truck. Check engine light came off and so did the ABS light. So, I ain't going to take a gamble. And I'm saying I'm going to take this truck up here to Martin. And um, police just came behind me. Hopefully, they don't pull my black ass over. Me to go ahead and just say take it and they reject it, you know. They'll go ahead and tell you to go to breakdown, which is fine, but the whole electronic uh BOL and proof of delivery just makes it a little bit you know tricky because you can't really. I mean, I guess you can, if there is an inspection report, I guess you can put down you know, check engine light, fry it, but yeah. Rolling with the punches today, man. That's all I can say. I was hoping to be done by at least 12 o'clock. It's fucking around 11.30 right now. It's my second truck. But, like I say, man, I learned patience in this shit. It's only 21 minutes from where I picked it up to where it's going. Like, I don't even want to check the AC on this. Like, can I have any, like... The truck that had no AC, it's that bad in that problem. But it's super hot in the day, man, so it's like, you know, it's a brand new truck. I don't know how long this freaking out is going to take to build up the AC brush and shit. Shit like it ain't going that cold like that. So I'm going to take it and take this competition off. Like, oh, JB, huh? We ain't got no competition. Man, you got competition, huh? We ain't had no competition. If you not for JB, huh? Trucks out here. What are you talking about? You ain't got no competition. No. They got them there. Part two. I'll part whatever because it's my second truck. I'll hit y'all back when I get to the third truck, make the third drop, see what time it is, and you know, see what I come up with for the day. Or after that. Alright, y'all, so we made it to Martin safe and sound. I had to take a picture just to cover myself, knowing that the check engine light is no longer on, ABS light is no longer on. Go ahead, drop off my tags and my decal. I always do that. It's the first thing I do before I even check the truck in, yo. I grab my tags and my decal because I don't even want to leave shit. Because a lost tag will cost you about 80 bucks. Thanks, sir. I got a new truck for you guys. Okay. They had to jump it to get over here, so I mean, 
I got it running right now, but I know it has like the idle shut down right in front of that first day. What's up, man? Hope it ain't one I delivered to you guys. How many delivered? I mean, I think I delivered one maybe last week over here. But today you only delivered one, right? I got one more. I delivered that one. It's in the front now that you're checking in. I'm about to go back, pick up another one. I'll be back within an hour, hopefully. As long as I ain't got no issues. Transport of life, you know. The one I'm about to pick up next? Yeah. Uh, I can get it for you. Hold on. So just leaving Martin Transport. On the way to pick up the third and final unit. Um, it's probably about 12 o'clock right now. Quarter to 12 at least. That check-in wasn't too long. So when I get back, we'll see what it do. Hit that like, give it a thumbs up. Fly roll, side guy. Checking in. Our presentation. Um, let me just take a quick peek at the Q&A just to see what's here. So I made it down back to the hub. Picking up my third unit for the day. Taking Snowflake out the uh, Martin Transport. That's how I come before they put the uh, the Martin stickers on there. It's just a clean old brand new Freightliner 2022. Gotta do my walk around, gotta do my pre-trip. Little scuff right here. That's just some dirt though. But you know, I ain't trying to get blamed for the shit. Dang! Stink bug. Ah. Hmm. Hopefully this one don't need to be jumped. Ah, I see here. Yeah. Hopefully it got enough fuel in the joker. But probably won't. Probably won't. See how long that took to, uh, to, to start? I don't be liking that shit. Alright, y'all. Well, I made it to truck number three. Hopefully, I, um... Make it to the final with no issues. Smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. So far, so good for number three. I got about 26 minutes to go. And it's uh, saying I should get there about 1, 111, 112. I said I was trying to be done at 12. But, you know, with the minor hiccups, which is real minor, you know, check engine like ABS. Had to take one to, um, the dealership because the air wasn't blowing cold so I ain't too mad about that you know considering and I was able to contact my dispatcher 
you know, because I had to let him know about everything that was going on with the units. And he sent me a couple more offers. I was able to counter those offers at a good rate. And, um, yeah, he accepted the rate, the counter that I put in, and, um, I got three more trucks. Um, I, I, I pushed them back, though, till Friday. Today's Wednesday. I pushed them back to Friday. Um, I might throw them today, or I might not. My plan wasn't to throw it today, so that's why I, I pushed it back to Friday as far as the pickup. I try to space stuff out, because sometimes you get in a rush trying to do everything, get it done, get your paperwork in by a certain time. You mess around and miss a little ding in the windshield or you miss a chip on the front bumper or some crazy shit and then, you know, that truck or that unit that could have been more money than turned into a claim that you got to wind up paying for, so not for nothing. Depending on how the weather shakes off for the rest of the week, um, I got drop locations scheduled, they open on the weekend, so worst case scenario, I can drop them off either Saturday, maybe Sunday, so that's how I like to maneuver, but yeah, I'll see y'all when I get to Martin, man. Uh, truck moving with a new truck delivery. And that's all folks, look like we done made it to another final destination. Don't forget to hit that subscribe like button, fly roadside guy checking in one time for the one.